This is the Iron Man in the packaging. Civil War Mark 46. Check it out. It has the movie logo here. It has the arm of the movie Giant Man. That looks pretty cool. See that effects blast. And let's open this up now and continue the review. Check out Comic Book Illuminati and Outbreak Geekery. The links are in the description. Welcome. This is a review on Iron Man, the movie version from the Marvel Legends Captain America Wave 6 inch action figure line. And let's take a look. Before we get there, this is the Giant Man movie version build a figure part. It's the right arm it comes with. There's a closed fist, double articulate it. This will have a future review on the channel when I complete the figure, so watch for that. On to the figure itself. Before we talk about it, it has two extra parts, hands, closed fist, and it has this, which stands out. Check out these effect parts. You see that I sculpted in. Hopefully it's gonna show up here. They put a little sculpting in there, so it could hold. You could actually use these effect parts right here if you want it to for the feet I'll say a flying type effect could work okay there I think for feet thrusters sort of if you pose it right but I think it's really meant to be a repulsor type effect it just it works much better this way it has like a different color blue shading to it a little white it's a pretty nice effects so you have these two effect parts, and if you want, you could switch out. It has a closed fists. That way you could pummel Captain America, right? Anyway, I just want to show you the details on this figure first before continuing the review. Hopefully it's going to show up well. Oh, I mean, what's really nice here is the shoulders are attached. Usually it's tough to get these shoulders right because they attach it here and when you move the arms it gets in the way but not a problem in this figure. This is the arc reactor. It's a little different in design. Uh, a detail I'd like to show here, pay attention to. Look at that. Nice little sculpting detail over here. Iron Man suits usually look pretty good from the movie. Except for Iron Man 3, the colors were kind of way off, if you remember that one. Yeah, check that out. Some gray, was it maybe supposed to be silver type coloring. The detailing is definitely there. The paints are just uh, plastic red, really. It's not... A metallic paint which would really be nice if it was like full metallic paints but that's more expensive height wise for those wondering it's just over six and a half almost six and uh, three quarters close to seven this figure has some nice detailing overall and uh, Let's check out the articulation. Has a ball jointed head with pretty good range of motion. Check that out. Has the ball hinge shoulders up or down, in or out. This does not really get in the way overall because it's attached to the ball joint there. You got the swivel biceps, the double articulation elbows here. This is the ball hinge wrists. And they are removable, and you got uh, open hands for the repulsors if you want that. Pivot torso. The range is uh, not as good as Captain America. It's not too much. It has no waist articulation, so that's it, that's it in regard to that. Ball hinged hips. 
and up and down and the swivel dies are right at the top and the double articulated knees but what's nice is the kneecap cover the way it looks in terms of our sculpt and the, the feet here are the ankle rockers ball jointed Captain America has a little more articulation overall movie Iron Man very nice and I'm gonna have my final word coming right up so overall uh, you might ask Rob what did you think of Iron Man six inch action figure based on the Civil War uh, movie uh, you know we've had a lot of Iron Man figures Hasbro has made quite uh, a few of them of really high quality I think this one is really nice it's another addition I like having armors that are accurate to the movie material and not made up movie armors that have no comic or movie reference material Anyway, this is the movie version. It looks great. I think it's one of the few and rare editions of Iron Man that has the repulsors, like projectile parts, to stick out. I hope they do that in other Iron Man figures. Use projectiles or like some ray type effects. They've done it in the past sometimes, but very rare. Uh, Toy Biz did a few in like their War Machine. Very rare. But I think it adds another element to Iron Man figures to make it special. It looks really cool. The only thing they didn't do is they didn't include like a unmasked head or a flip up unmasked one like they did with uh, last year with the Age of Ultron where they had the flip up type of unmasked look to it. They didn't do that. Other than that, and maybe they could have used some metallic paint. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I was just thinking about that. But overall, I can't complain. Another fantastic Iron Man. Definitely a good addition to your collection. And uh, so that's the review. Let me know what you think. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you later.